Further to the matter of public importance, I call the member for Swansea. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I rise on behalf of the New South Wales Opposition to contribute to this matter of public importance, recognising that tomorrow proudly marks National Meals on Wheels Day. I thank the government for drawing this important day of recognition to the attention of this parliament. Madam Speaker, National Meals on Wheels Day recognises the work of organisations 78,700 volunteers at over 740 branches around the country, including the many wonderful volunteers in my electorate of Swansea, including Swansea Meals on Wheels and Belmont Meals on Wheels. In the course of the year, Meals on Wheels delivers over 14.8 million meals by more than 78,700 volunteers. That's about 53,000 recipients Australia-wide. Of these, about 4.5 million meals are delivered by 35,000 volunteers in New South Wales alone. The wonderful Swansea Meals on Wheels has been operating for a massive 41 years and they still prepare their meals on site fresh every day. How good is that? They have 120 volunteers and deliver about 14,500 meals per year to about 100 clients each day. The Belmont service has been operating for at least 40 years too, and like Swansea, they still cook their own meals on site every day. Between their 65 volunteers, they prepare and distribute between 35 to 30,000 meals every year to over 200 clients. What a massive effort that is. Madam Speaker, I am proud to inform the House that to mark National Meals on Wheels Day, the Swansea service invited me to join them to volunteer just a little bit of my time to deliver some meals to locals in the electorate. Um, the invitation, of course, I happily accepted just yesterday. But to be quite honest with you, though, I had an absolute ball. I met some great people and a few lovable larrikins along the way. Lee and Cole uh, were my drivers and Gareth Beck and Donna in the office. I've been invited to join the kitchen crew. Uh, who work so diligently to prepare these fresh and nutritious meals, and I can't wait to give them a helping hand there as well. With this in mind, we all know that volunteering is the lifeblood of organisations like Meals on Wheels, and it is the work of volunteers that has seen their continuous operation in the Swansea electorate for over 40 years. This evening, I encourage anyone in my local community, or for that matter across New South Wales, who would like to give a little back by helping out to contact Meals on Wheels and volunteer some of your time. You can give a little or as much as you like, but I guarantee you, you'll get a lot more out of it. Meals on Wheels has a pretty incredible history of service. In World War II, Meals on Wheels was established in Britain to service older and frailer citizens that needed help to staying in their own homes. It allowed them to be checked on regularly, ensured that they were well fed and cared for, and that they had a friendly visit every now and again. Today, the same applies. In 1952, a woman in Melbourne got on her tricycle to deliver some home-cooked meals to elderly people in her neighbourhood. It was a small operation that grew so rapidly that eventually the Red Cross had to step in and help out. Five years later, in 1957, Sydney City Council started Meals on Wheels in New South Wales cooking meals in the town hall to be delivered throughout the inner city. They charged approximately two shillings. That's about 20% per meal in today's currency. What a bargain. <coughs> These days, Meals on Wheels operates on four wheels instead, instead of three, and the deliveries extend a lot further than the inner city. With an ageing population, it is more important than ever to provide services to elderly and less mobile members of our community. Meals are prepared by chefs and designed to be nutritious. They offer a variety and, importantly, a very delicious menu. Meals are affordable, although I'm sure we all agree that there can be no price put on regular social interaction and a chat with a friendly local. Each meal is carefully packaged and delivered by a team of awesome volunteers with care. Madam Speaker, Meals on Wheels is more than just food on the table. It's a friendly face, a lovingly prepared meal, a human connection for both the volunteers that prepared and delivered the service and the people receiving the meal. I pay tribute to this wonderful organisation and on behalf of all of the members of this place, of all political stripes, say thank you for the wonderful work that you do in our communities and please have a fantastic National Meals on Wheels Day tomorrow. As their tagline goes, Meals on Wheels certainly is more than just a meal. Thank you. Further to the matter of public importance, I call the member.